On April 5th and 6th, Chinese President Xi Jinping and U.S. President Donald Trump met at Trump's Mar-a-Lago Resort in Florida. The meeting was the first of its kind, and here are our top five takeaways from this historic summit. Coming in at number five, no deals were made between China and the U.S. Last time President Xi visited the United States, many deals were signed in relation to trade and investments. This time, Trump even joked that President Xi was not giving him anything. Trump said, We've had a long discussion already, and so far I have gotten nothing, absolutely nothing. <laughs> but we have developed a friendship, I can see that. And I think long term, we're going to have a very, very great relationship, and I look very much forward to it. Number four on our list is President Xi's focus on trade. We have a thousand reasons to get China-U.S. relations right, and not one reason to spoil the China-U.S. relationship, President Xi told Trump. They In a run-up to the U.S. election, Mr. China. Trump talked tough about China countries. stealing jobs from American workers and how he would China create better deals with China and reduce America's trade deficit with China. Trump even proposed a 45 percent tariff on Chinese imports. You know nothing, Donald Trump. This rhetoric had many people in China concerned that Trump's administration lacked simple economic understanding and the President Xi focused on how China and America could work together in a positive way in the future. This was not a big surprise, but it will be interesting to see how this develops in the coming years. Our number three takeaway is 100 days of progress. According to CNN, President Donald Trump and Chinese President Xi Jinping established a new framework for high-level negotiations on the range of issues and pledged to make progress on trade negotiations within the next 100 days. This 100-day framework is interesting because we not only focus on trade, but also on a range of issues. These other issues could include the South China Sea, the Korean Peninsula, or cybersecurity. Be interesting to see what is accomplished in the next 100 days. Our number two takeaway is the DPRK's nuclear weapon program. Over the last month or so, things have been heating up between the U.S. and DPRK, and Trump asked China for help to solve the problem. North Korea is looking for trouble. If China decides to help, that would be great. If not, we will solve the problem without them. Trump said before the talks with President Xi. After the meeting, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson said they also came to agreement on the urgency of the threat of North Korea's nuclear weapons program. With the U.S. strike group consisting of the USS Carvinson, a missile carrier and two destroyers moving towards the Korean Peninsula, only time will tell what agreement Tillerson was talking about, but we hope it will be a peaceful solution. Our number one takeaway is friendship. That's right, both sides said they have a working relationship and friendship. President Xi said through a translator, we had long and in-depth communication, and more importantly, we have further built up understanding and established a kind of trust. And we have initially built up a working relationship and friendship. And Trump said, I had a very, very good meeting with President Xi of China really liked him. We had a great chemistry, I think. I mean, at least I had a great chemistry. Maybe he didn't like me, but I think he liked me. This relationship is good for both sides because there are many global issues that need to be solved in the future. These are our top five takeaways after a successful visit by President Xi. This was just the start of a new relationship between the world's two economic superpowers, but it was a good start. Thanks for watching and be sure to leave a comment telling us your takeaways from the summit.